Welcome back guys, I trust you've been staying safe. Now, the husband of the late Micah Miller, Pastor J.P. Miller or Pastor John Paul Miller, is actually going through hell on this earth. You see how ironic it is. He's actually a pastor, but he's going through hell on this earth. Especially after the passing of my Camilla at her own hands. Now, what has happened to him? His ex-wife has made some damning allegations against him in their divorce papers, which has now been leaked. And I picked this up on a site called The Mail Online. And what they are saying in there is, is really, really horrible. Not even they saying it. What they are saying were said by his ex-wife in the divorce papers are very, very damning. So it turns out that according to these alleged divorce papers, Pastor J.P. Miller is being accused by his ex-wife of committing indecent acts with some girls in the church who allegedly were underage at the time that he was married to her. Now, in case you don't know, Pastor J.P. Miller had a first wife whom he was married to for about 15 years, and then he divorced her and married Mika Miller. Now, it turns out there's a whole background to the eventual marriage of Pastor J.P. Miller and Mika Miller or Micah Miller. I'm going to put out a video on that one just so we get to see how deep this thing goes. But this is what his ex-wife is saying. That he committed all these atrocious acts and it doesn't even end there. She goes on allegedly to talk about him in these alleged divorce papers that he also had an addiction to escorts. And the church apparently was allegedly away. Now, when I saw this, I kept asking myself questions like, what is going on in this church? What is going on with this pastor, J.P. Miller, or whatever he's called? I'm not trying to judge him. I'm not in a position to authenticate whether this is accurate or not, but this is being reported by the Mail Online, and it's allegedly coming from divorce papers or divorce documents that were created as a result of the divorce between Pastor J.P. Miller and his ex-wife. And this is what allegedly the ex-wife said in these divorce papers. And if it is true, I'm wondering what is going on? What is going on in this church? Because it seems it came to light. He, he was advised to seek some help for all these addictions. And he stayed on as the pastor. I've said in my previous videos, I'm not a man of God, but then I'm a Christian, but I've never been a pastor. I'm not in a position to judge anybody, but I think I'm in a position to ask some valid questions. As a rational human being with a bit of wisdom and a brain to think, and also as a Christian, knowing a little bit about our Christian beliefs. How can a man who is allegedly guilty of all these things be still in a position to lead the church but it seems that is what was happening now according to the ex-wife of pastor john paul miller these are things that he was struggling with and it it, it baffles me you know most people don't know this but he was married to his ex-wife for 15 years. They got married in 2000 and then they established the church together and they got divorced in 2015. And I'll tell you the reason for their divorce in the next video because it seems someone might argue that the chickens might actually be coming home to roost because it turns out that two homes were actually ruined for the marriage of Pastor J.P. Miller and Micah Miller to be successful. And uh, it's, it's something else. But then, this is what allegedly the divorce documents about Pastor J.P. Miller's 
divorce from his first wife is saying. Now, <laughs> forgive me, my flow is a bit off because I'm getting to see some of these things and I'm just asking myself a lot of questions. I'm sure you may also have a lot of questions, but you know, I was discussing this with somebody and the person also made a valid point, asked a valid question actually. The person was like, yeah, but even if the pastor is actually guilty of all these things that were allegedly cited in the alleged divorce documents between himself and his first wife, it just goes to show he's also human. He is a pastor, but he's human. He's not the God we are serving and neither is he Jesus Christ. So we shouldn't ascribe to him some sanctimonious status expecting that he is without blame nor sin. And I was like, hmm, interesting point there. How do I take this? I didn't know how to take it because I think it's still a valid point. Think that at the end of the day, he's a human being. Yeah, it's true. But then I still don't think it cuts it because even if he's a human being, the pastoral position is a position of leadership. Leadership towards righteousness. Leadership towards ethics. You can't have somebody who if this is true, appears to be leading an immoral life, occupying that position. I think that it doesn't sit well. And according to further information in the documents, this information about what Pastor J.P. Miller was allegedly doing with some of the underage girls in the church actually didn't sit well with some people. Some people actually left the church. But, you know, with churches, even if people leave, there are still some people who are diehard fanatics and they will stay. Not that they may not necessarily know what is good or bad, but I think most of those people are people who believe that the pastor will change. Some may even ascribe the whole issue to maybe a demonic attack on the pastor. They, they may find a scripture somewhere in the Bible to try and make sense of why the pastor should be considered because some of them grew to love their pastors so much they just can't see them in any other light other than the light of being their pastor and being a nice person without realizing that most often what you see in churches is a facade you see people trying to put up their best behavior people trying to brand themselves to look good but behind the scenes that is where you see who they really are and it looks like the chickens are coming home to roost for Pastor J.P. Miller on this one. But I was asking myself, so why release all these documents and all this information? Because what is the end game? Is it a smear campaign? Yeah, maybe he had a nasty divorce. Yeah. So if you release this, what is the end game? You've released all these things. He was accused of doing this by his ex-wife, blah, blah, blah. What next? To what end? What is the goal? What is the motive? I don't know. Is it all in a ploy just to add to his persona being rightly seen by people for what some people are saying he actually is? Or is just for our information, just so we know more about Pastor J.P. Miller? For me, I, I was really curious to see these things and I realized that, hey, if you're a member of a church, don't idolize your pastor. Just focus on building your relationship with God and getting close to God. Not through your pastor, directly. Build your relationship directly with God because I've always said that the pastors are human beings just like us. And sometimes they are even failing more than we, the members of the church. Just that we are not in a position to judge, but then we are, we are in a position to be discerning as the word of God asks us to be. So, this is what has come out about Pastor J.P. Miller and the next video I'm putting out about Pastor J.P. Miller and Micah Miller and how they met and eventually got married is a blockbuster. Honestly, it will shock you. Now, when I found this information out and looking at what has happened to Micah Miller, I don't know, but I was having a discussion somebody was like, they just started on a bad foot. Maybe this is just karma coming home to catch up with them. I don't know about that. But just follow up onto that video. I'm putting it out next. 
and let's have a conversation this is the, that that the content of that video is very deep and i think there are lessons in there for everybody irrespective of wherever you find yourself but let me know in the comment section what do you think all this is for? Why are they releasing all these things about this pastor? Do you think he was even fit to be a pastor in the first place if all these things are true, are true as have been said in his alleged divorce papers? Let's have a conversation. Subscribe, turn on the post notifications. I'll catch you on the next one.